Hello and herzlich willkommen bei Hugo. Hello and welcome to Hugomatic. My name is Helge Kröger and today I would like to demonstrate the easy and fast maintenance of an electrode steam humidifier from the Flexline series. In beginning with the maintenance, first shut off the water supply. Next, the residual water needs to be drained from the steam cylinder. That can be easily done with a control switch by pressing and holding the control switch in position 2 until the remaining water is pumped out of the cylinder. That will be the case now. I release the control switch and can be sure there is no more water inside. Next, I disconnect the unit from the power supply and secure it from being restarted. After the unit has been cut off from the power and water supply, I can safely open the housing cover. To do so, I turn the lock bolts 90 degrees to the left and open the unit. The unit is divided into two parts. On the right is the electrical side with circuit breaker, main contactor, cables, terminals and electronics. And on the left side, a steam compartment with steam cylinder, a water inlet solenoid valve and a blowdown pump. Before I can start with the actual maintenance work, I have to make sure that the power is off. To do this, I check the circuit breaker that I switch off before. I first check for any phase-to-phase -phase voltage and afterward I check for phase-to-neutral voltage. There is no voltage present. After I've checked for absence of power, I can safely disassemble the steam cylinder. I simply remove the electrode connectors first and the small connector for the sensor electrode. Next, I remove the clip for the steam hose adapter, place it on the unit, and then pull the steam hose adapter up with the steam hose and affix the steam hose adapter again to the unit. Now I have both my hands available in order to dismantle the steam cylinder. I can dismantle it by moving it, turning and pulling. Now I can begin with the maintenance of the steam cylinder. First, all of the clamps connecting the two cylinder halves will be removed. To do so, I lever with a normal sized screwdriver behind the clamp and pop it out. So, now I can separate the two steam cylinder halves in top half and bottom half. As you see, this steam cylinder bottom half is still very new. Yours will probably look like this. You can clearly see the calcification, mineral deposits that need to be removed. These loose deposits can simply be discarded. The coarse particles of encrustation inside the steam cylinder can simply be scraped off using a spatula. Please also make sure that this strainer that stops the coarse particles is always clean. Take a small screwdriver and clear all the little holes so that the water can pass through again. The top half of the steam cylinder looks like this with the electrodes. I first inspect the electrodes. What do they look like? In this case, they are still brand new. I will demonstrate the replacement of the electrodes. I screw off the hand nuts of each electrode. So, 
and the handout of the sensor electrode. The electrodes are now loose, and I can simply pull them out. As with the sensor electrode. Now I'm able to clean the top half of the cylinder as well. Clean the cylinder top half even if you don't see any buildup. There can be unseen salt bridges that build up around the sensor electrode and can cause the unit to malfunction. Please clean with a normal rag. What also works well is a household sponge, the coarse colored side of the sponge. You can wipe around the sensor electrode to remove all possibly formed salt bridges. These are, of course, brand new electrodes. We recommend replacing the electrodes when they have burned off about two-thirds their length. With one-third remaining, they should be replaced. If they are as long as they are now, or a bit shorter, take a scraper or a spatula, clean the electrodes, simply mechanically, on both sides. Polishing is not necessary. You also don't need to use any cleaning products or acids. A simple mechanical cleaning is sufficient. If you're not using new electrodes because they're still okay, use the O-ring set we have here. A cylinder flange O-ring. That belongs to the cylinder. Two O-rings, one for the cylinder base and for the steam hose adapter. Those are the same O-rings. Here we have three flange clamps, in case one gets away or worn out, and you can replace them. Then we have three O-rings for the electrodes. Please replace them with every maintenance. One O-ring for the sensor electrode, always replace that as well. And three O-rings for the blowdown pump. And by now the upper part of the steam cylinder is ready to have the electrodes reinstalled. I start with the insertion of the sensor electrode. Just put it in. And tighten the hand nut. Then reinsert the electrodes. And zwar bitte so. Please make sure that the surfaces are always parallel to each other. And please tighten the hand nuts by hand only. Check these hand nuts at each visual inspection, half yearly visual inspection. Tighten or check if they have come loose. That can happen due to vibration. Check the O-rings as well for wear. Check if they're sitting tight. It's very important. When the parts are complete, the electrodes are back in. I take a look at the lower half and replace the cylinder flange O-ring that is found here. When assembling, please pay attention to the alignment of the flaps here and here. These two flaps belong together. Like this. This is the right position. So. 
And now the two cylinder halves can be reconnected with the clamps. I start at the bottom and press on the clamp, then turn the steam cylinder 180 degrees and affix the other side. Continue there, then here. Now you can put a clamp in each space, once all around. Next, examine the individual hoses. What do they look like? Possibly the hoses have hardened. They must be replaced. I check by simply pressing them a little. Need a bit here. If they are still flexible, then everything is fine, then you can leave them there. If not, they have to be replaced. Then I look into the cylinder base, if there are mineral deposits, if the hole here is clear with the blowdown pump, if there is anything, mineral deposits, Please remove them. In that case, you might have to remove the base and clean it properly. Then please clean the groove of the cylinder base as well with a cloth and clean it. And insert a new O-ring into the groove. I must also take the O-ring out of the steam hose adapter here and replace it with a new one. To do this, I simply get behind the O-ring with a screwdriver and then pull it out. Here it is. And then replace it with a new one, which I insert into this groove here. The next maintenance step is the inspection of the pipe bend on the upper left here. I unscrew it. and bend it over to me. You can see here where the water from the cylinder is pumped into the drain and you see a small hole here. This small hole is a vent hole that needs to be cleared all times. There must be no residue or blockage inside it. And if you see anything, insert a small screwdriver into this opening Clear it out. And then simply screw the pipe bend back into the housing. Next, inspect the sieve at the tap water connection. Simply dismantle the water hose by loosening the nut and pull out the sieve with flat or pointed pliers. Clean the sieve under running water and then it can be reinserted. After I've cleaned the steam cylinder, I can begin reinstalling it. Simply insert the steam cylinder into the cylinder base, press down and position it here. The correct position of the cylinder is when you can see the sign caution hot surface. To fix the steam cylinder, I remove the clip from the steam hose adapter and attach it to the steam cylinder. Now I can take this clip and reaffix the steam hose adapter. Simply 
The whole steam cylinder is nicely attached. Now I begin with the wiring of the electrodes and put the color-coded plugs back on their respective electrodes. Please do not forget to attach the plug for the sensor electrode. After the steam cylinder has been installed, start the test run. Simply let the device run for 10 minutes. And during the test, check all areas with replaced O-rings, the leaks, check for leakage, especially here around the cylinder flange. After having done this, after about 10 minutes, please pump out the water too to see if there is any leakage in the area of the blowdown pump. So it must, of course, be taken care of immediately. When you are finished with this, reset the service interval according to our operating instructions. And note the steps you have taken in the maintenance manual, so the next employee knows exactly what was done last, and above all, when it was done. After filling out the maintenance manual, I can put it away and reattach the housing cover to the unit. Turn the two lock bolts. And that concludes the maintenance of an electrode steam humidifier from the FlexLine series. And I thank you for watching.